third Thursdays at the Commons is a, is a monthly event series um, to really activate Civic Center, Fulton Mall, and UN Plaza through food, music, and other uh, social activations. I'm Stephanie Kuo, uh, the Vice President of Operations for Off the Grid. In 2016, an initiative called the Civic Center Commons Initiative was launched. Uh, it's a, an effort by a bunch of city agencies along with institutional stakeholders, community partners, to figure out how to program these spaces on a more consistent basis. How do we get people out here um, on a monthly, weekly, daily basis, and not just for the large events when the Warriors win the championship. My name is Jango Kung. I'm with the Civic Center Community Benefit District, and I'm the program manager for the Civic Center Commons. All third Thursdays, we'll have live music. That was really important in the planning of these events. The music component, we wanted to be uh, an artist that appeals to a really wide range of musical tastes and something that everybody will appreciate listening to. My name is Mary Condi. I'm the venue manager of the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium, and I work for Another Planet Entertainment. Good music, good musicians, and real bands with guitar players and drummers. We turn Civic Center and UN Plaza and Fulton Street into what it's supposed to be, which is a place for, for people to create community, to eat, to drink, to laugh, to be in this just amazing civic space. Phil Ginsberg, I'm the general manager of San Francisco's Recreation and Park Department. There are a number of different exhibits. There's art, there's music, food, wine, cocktails. And the idea, again, is to, to give people an opportunity to enjoy what really is you know, one of the great civic spaces in America. When you look, you know, from the Polk Street steps and you look all the way down the plaza, uh, down Market Street at, at, at Daniel Burnham's, you know, design, you know, this was intended to be Smithsonian-esque. And it's really pretty special. The city approached Off the Grid to provide uh, food and beverages at the event as kind of the core anchor to encourage attendees Food gives people a reason to stay. I really like the vibe of it. Like, it's really nice. Like, everybody's just around talking, having a good time. We're really trying to bring something different to every third Thursday. Basic formula is great food, interesting music, and then we wanted to have something a little more. So we partnered with Noise Pop, and they brought in some really fun games. We have ski ball. We have the uh, Church of Eight Wheels that are doing roller skating. Uh, lessons and they've got a roller skating rink. The hardest thing to decide when you're a, a passionate ski baller like me is whether you're just going to play up the middle and the nice kind of smooth delivery and let the ball hop into the little 50 or the bank shot. Our main goal is for people to come out and have fun, enjoy the space with their neighbors, eat, drink, listen to music. But on top of that, we, we really want to inspire people to see the Commons as a place that they want to hold their own personal event or their community event. I think that this has turned into the perfect example of how to work together, that we have all the city departments, the Recreation and Parks Department, DPW, the Police Department, everybody's kind of come together to provide the support and services that they can to activate this area. There's no one agency or organization that, that really can make this space come alive on its own. And it's really through the, the collective will, not just of the public sector, but both the public and our you know, business partnerships, our nonprofit profit partnerships, um, you know, neighborhood activists. I really like it too. I feel like it's a great way to get people to know about local music and like local cuisine and stuff like that, like the food trucks. I think it's a great way to bring everyone together. It's a natural, beautiful backdrop. We have City Hall right behind us, the Asian Art Museum that is also open on Thursdays. It's a really good environment, really welcoming. Like, we're having a great time. We want to inspire other people to do both big scale events using all three plazas, and or small events just using a part of the UN Plaza. Anyone interested in producing an event coming out here for a large scale event or a small scale event, please reach out to the Civic Center Commons, uh, and we'll direct you to the right resources and the right people to get your event planned. We love our city. Um, being a San Francisco-based company, it was really important to us to be able to connect and engage in a different way with San Franciscans and tourists alike. And how nice is it to leave City Hall and come out to Civic Center Plaza and see music and to be able to maybe enjoy a cocktail, to be able to throw a bocce ball or roll a ski ball, uh, to be able to visit with colleagues and maybe not even talk about work. 
uh, and just to enjoy this beautiful place. It's, it's, I find Third Thursdays to be really reinvigorating for me. First of all, it's free, it's kid friendly, it's vet friendly. We really want this to be a family friendly event. We want people to be comfortable bringing their kids here, coming after work with your friends. Uh, you know, if you live in the neighborhood, if you work in the neighborhood, stop by, have a drink. You know, whether you're in City Hall or down in the Financial District or anywhere, just come on over to Civic Center on a third Thursday and enjoy music and enjoy, you know, adult beverages. Enjoy skee-ball. Uh, enjoy, you know, an adult playground, if you will.